Hi, it's Gail the Planning Girl. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm adding another recipe to my skinny classic notebook. And this is going to be for an Asian type of slaw. And I think I'm going to put it under dinner because that's where we had, um, well, we had eaten it for dinner. And let me just show you real quick. This is the item I pick up at my Walmart. Um, you can probably find something similar at your grocery store. What I really liked about it is that it had all of these different sturdy veg already cut up because this particular recipe does call for cabbage and other types of sturdier veg to chop and stir fry. And um, this is already cut up for me. So I just chuck one of these. Actually, I used two last time and I just chuck it in the um, pan and stir it around with a little bit of olive oil and it's good to go. So let me share this recipe with you. As I said, it's for an Asian slaw and I like to write in a wider nibbed pen and this is a calligrapher 2.0. This is almost like the guts out of an egg roll. And I found this recipe online. I couldn't tell you where, um, Pinterest probably. I like to flick around there and look for something yummy. So I think what I would like is some cabbage. This is lettuce. I think there's a cabbage. Oh yes, right here. And I'm going to do cabbage, and I am going to do carrot, and I'm even gonna do the broccoli, because yum, that's fabulous. I think that's probably all I'll need. It is a one pot meal. I guess I could use that as a sticker. A lot of my recipes are, but hey, if you got the sticker, you might as well use it, you know? So let me, I'm having trouble grabbing it. There we go. Let's get in the paper. A one pot meal. And the cook time is about, I'm gonna say maybe five minutes. Five to 10 minutes. And the prep time, if you don't have to chop the veg, is um, hardly at all. But if you have to chop the veg, it's going to take some time. And this served both my husband and me for dinner, and then we had it for lunch. So I'm just going to say serves four. And the ingredients for the fast version is going to be... Um, Prepackaged slaw mix or sturdy veg mix. This one is called the Super Blend that I can get at my Walmart. And if you want to use meat, I use ground turkey or ground chicken and also green onions. They suggest soy sauce. I do not eat soy. Um, I'm avoiding soy. So uh, I did add a little bit of apricot jam. I like that for its sweetness but you should use the soy sauce to make it taste more like the inside of an egg roll. I will not eat soy. So let's see. Um, I think that was all I had put in it. Salt and pepper. They recommend using sesame oil. I don't buy sesame oil. I just use olive oil or um, a light veg oil if I have it. So I, again, I'm guessing that if you follow the recipe to a T, you would get the exact taste. But this was pretty close and I was pretty happy. 
Alrighty, so those are the ingredients. And of course, salt and pepper. I guess I'll write salt and pepper. And a little olive oil for the pan. Okay, so directions. I actually have a sheet of um, triangles here from the Joanne Happy Planner 100 sheet mega sticker book that came out in 2018 or 2019. This is an older sticker book and I'm using these up so I just keep it here to hand. So I'm just going to go ahead and use these. So I wanted to cook up my cabbages first and get them out of the pan because I wanted a little bit of crunch left. So I did that. If you're going to use meat, it recommended beef, but I don't eat beef either. Um, if you wish to add ground beef, go for it. Um, if you wanna leave it vegetarian, great, eliminate the step. I'm adding ground chicken or ground turkey, whatever I buy at the store that week. I loved this recipe. I thought it was absolutely delicious. So after the meat is all cooked up and you add your salt and pepper, toss your veg back in. And um, I put a tablespoon or so of the jam and just kind of stir everything around till it's heated through and serve. And I'm gonna use this purple one just to be different. can add or eliminate the meat. There we go. So this guy is gonna go into my recipe here under dinner. Let's see, this is A, so that would go before C. And that looks fabulous. I'm going to put a sticky note in here we haven't done a what's for dinner over here. Shall I grab one of those? So some of these sticky notes and stickers came out of the meal planning multi-accessories. And right here is a what's for dinner. I'm gonna pull this whole page out. Cause this meal plan sticker I need. So what's for dinner. And I'm writing egg roll insides. Mm -mm -mm. I love egg rolls. When I was pregnant with my son, we lived not even a mile from a little Chinese restaurant that was in an old, um, gosh, like a, it was super tiny. I think it was a, a rail car type of thing. But anyway, they made the best egg rolls. Oh my goodness. And I used to eat them all the time. Mm. So there we go, all planned up. Well, thanks so much for joining me in my healthy eating, healthy eating journey. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And I will see you next time for Wellness Wednesday. Bye-bye.